Well, hey girl, if you are looking for a really fun makeup look and you're wanting to do it with the Zodiac palette or have colors that are similar to these, then go ahead and stay with my video today because I am showing you how I got this really pretty makeup look and it was a lot of fun and I would love to teach you how to do it. It's coming your way right now. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a bit, if you are new, I am super pumped that you were here today. My name is Lauren and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't, both internally and externally. My hope today is that you will consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you can get alerts every single time I upload new videos, which is every single Friday, every third Thursday, and every fourth Tuesday of the month. Well, if you are pumped to see a full out makeup tutorial on my channel, then hit that thumbs up button because it seriously helps me out so very much. And I haven't done a full out makeup tutorial like from start to finish in a really long time. And the look I have on today has been highly requested from my Instagram stories. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do that. I would love to have you. I share a lot on my Instagram stories about my daily life and makeup looks are usually one of those things that go on Instagram. So if you don't have the Zodiac palette, this is what it looks like, that's okay. What I would do is find some colors that you like or colors that are similar to this. And basically you can just follow the techniques in the video and that will still achieve a similar look to this just with different colors on a different color palette so don't be discouraged if you don't have this palette if you do use it and I just want to go ahead and roll into it and not take up any more of your time let's get into that tutorial right now all right so the first thing I'm starting with is brows we're gonna brush those brows upward and I used my stencils for this tutorial for you um, lately though I have actually just been free handing my brows and I've gotten really good at it and really fast at it so I, this might be the last tutorial that you see me using these for a while and hopefully I can do a video for you soon on what has kind of changed about free handing my brows and why I'm doing them that way and why I like them so much better but anyway for now you get to see this and I can leave the link for you down below I love these brow stencils that I have found. They make brows super quick and super easy if it's not your favorite thing in the world to do or if it's a challenge for you to do, which it has been for me most of my life. So now that those are kind of roughed in, we're going to drink some protein and then prime the eyelids and then of course prime my face right behind that. I always, always, always start with a shadow primer and I'm using Urban Decay's primer. I'll link it for you below of course. And then a face primer, which I love. This is a, I've done a review on this one not too long ago, but the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. It is great at filling in your pores if you've got bigger pores like I do. And then we are going to go ahead and put foundation on. I zoomed in a little bit for you so you could see a little bit better of what I am doing. I believe I used the CoverGirl Outlast Active, which I've also done a review on. Um, I'll link that for you in the eye as well. It's one of those that I made survive one of my workouts and I'm just applying that with a damp sponge going around the brows that I penciled in and making sure that I have the coverage that I want. This is about a medium coverage for like a full coverage foundation, if you will. And I build it up to make it a little bit more full in the places that it is sparse. Feel it. Feel it. So let's jump into some concealer and I am using Maybelline's Fit Me in 10. So that's Fair Claire is the color. And then I'm just going to take a damp sponge and press that into the skin to blend it out, of course. And then I'm actually going to set my face today. We're gonna bake actually. And this is something that I've recently been playing around with again. Um, I was doing it a long time ago and just didn't really like it, but I've learned a few new techniques and I'm actually gonna do a video for you coming up this month to show you how I've been baking my face and how it can actually work well for your skin. So stay tuned for that. And that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna leave that powder on for right now. 
Okay, so the first color we're gonna take into the transition part of our eye is going to be the first color of the Aquarius. Um, it is the lightest color. This is what I use for a transition color. All of the actual colors in this palette that are like, you know, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, all of those are like glitter colors. And then the color behind that is all matte. So I'm using a matte color and I pretty much only use the glittery or shimmer colors um, as a lid color or to blend out, which you'll see. So the second color that we're gonna put in the outer third of the eye is the matte color for the Libra part of the palette. And that is what we are gonna use on the outer third to give us some darkness. And I, you can see I took two different brushes and what I did is place the color and then I blend the color. Um, and I do that back and forth until I get the actual look that I want to make sure that the shadow is all blended in and I don't have any harsh lines whatsoever. So as you can see, I just did that again, added a little bit more color, blended in, and I'm gonna do it one more time. So that's the key, girls, whenever you're doing these types of looks, if you're not happy with the result, just continue to blend out. And I will say this, always add a little bit of color. Um, you can come back from that, but when you add too much, it's tough to you know blend it down to nothing. So that's why you'll see me do this a couple of times when I'm doing a look that has a little bit more of an intense color scheme. All right, and so now we're gonna jump on to the lid color, which is from Taurus, is what this is. So this is the shimmer. And I'm using my ring finger, obviously, as you can see, to apply. For whatever reason, lately, I've just kinda gotten away from like flat um, shader brushes. I really like using my ring finger. I'll go back and forth. But sometimes I feel like my ring finger warms up the product and it actually picks up more pigment for me, and I dig that. So I'll put that on and then I'll blend it out, and here we are with the next step. We're gonna go ahead and pull off that excess powder now and get rid of that so now that our concealer is set and the foundation is set in places where I get a little bit of oil, that is what I do there and I just pull that off with a brush, easy peasy. Now let's go ahead and hit the underneath the lash line part. And what I do is I use our first color, so the transition color, that brown color, and then I will build up the color slowly. And I love, love, love to use really small crease brushes that are kind of dense. It does a great job at placing the color and then blending that out. Usually girls will use pencil brushes, there's nothing wrong with that, or even a flat definer, you can totally use those too. But I just recently found that I like using these small crease brushes to create a shadow that looks really, really nice. And you can also take it down a bit further and blend it out as well too. All right, now we're gonna jump into eyeliner and I used a gel liner for this look today. Recently, I have gone back to using a liquid liner that is in a pen form. I'm gonna be doing an updated winged eyeliner video this month for you as well for hooded eyes, so stay tuned. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, for the last several weeks, I had been doing a liner challenge where every day I was trying out liner every single day. And it was just because I had gotten really, really rusty at winged liner with hooded eyes. Sometimes it's a challenge. If you have hooded eyes, you know what I mean. And so um, that is what I wanted to basically show you guys is kind of what I've done to update the techniques for myself to make a winged liner less of a challenge. So stay tuned for that. It is coming up this month on my channel. And now we're gonna highlight the inner corner and I just use the color that's in the center of this palette. I don't even know what it's called, it doesn't have a name, but it is really, really pretty as you can see and it works great for the inner corner and then of course for underneath your brow bone. So that is exactly what I used for the highlight color. Now we're gonna fill in the brows with a little bit of brow gel. As I mentioned, I always do my pencil part first, so that gives me a nice brow creation. And then I just fill in any sparse areas with this brow gel from CoverGirl that I love. I'll link it for you below. And then the key here really is this brush. It's truly life. Like it will create the most structured looking little hairs for your brows, and I think you'll love it. It's the MAC 263 if you don't have it. All right, so let's do a little contouring here with my JH05 brush. I do love this brush for contour. It does a really great job. And then I am using the LA Girl Pro Contour Powder, and I'm using that to contour my cheeks and of course my forehead. 
And then I'll throw a little bit of bronzer right on top of that. I'm using the e.l.f. palette in St. Lucia. I love, love, love that bronzer. It is great. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw some blush on top of that. And I'll link what I use down on the bottom for you because that went by really quick as I'm doing this voiceover. <laughs> and then we're just gonna throw on some gel onto those brows to keep those hairs tied down in case you ever face a windstorm. It will not move with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Curl those lashes, girls, and then let's throw on some mascara. I did not put on falsies. I think y'all know I'm not too much of a falsies fan, but I will put on at least 18 layers of mascara to make my lashes look phenomenal. And I did use two types of mascara that day. My two favorites, the Lash Paradise and then the L'Oreal Telescopic, which I have done videos on as well. Now we're gonna set that face with some setting spray and then throw on our highlighter. I love to do this when it's wet, it makes a huge difference. And then I will actually set my face again with another spritzer of setting spray. After adding the bronzer to my lower lip to give it a little bit of a fullness effect and highlighter around my entire lips, I'll add my lip color and that is pretty much the end of that. And I guess I cut it off, but I do set my face one more time and I just didn't show it. So I think that's gonna be a wrap. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that now so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.